to the channel, Custom Garage. Today we're going to be prepping the side wall for paint. It's got a little bit of um, issues, not bad. The stuff that was stuck in the paint. It's white, you don't see it now, but when I do the dark or gray, I'm assuming that it'll, you'll see a lot more of it. So I'm gonna go up and we're gonna do a little sanding on this wall. This scaffolding is a godsend. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I wouldn't be able to do this with ladders. The problem with ladders is you can't get enough tools to hang on the ladder to keep you going. So this here for $230 or whatever I paid for it, gets me right up to the ceiling. I'm gonna go ahead and knock the nibs out of the wall and then we're gonna dust it off and we'll go ahead and tape it up. And I'm gonna try something the painter's been doing for years, I guess. When you lay down your tape on a textured ceiling like this, you always have bleed through where the color ends up in the other color of the ceiling because of the texture and the tape doesn't fit tight. We're gonna run a bead of um, clear silicone or white silicone along the lip of the tape. And from what I've been seeing, it gives you a perfectly clean line, which is fine with me. I don't have to come back and touch up the ceiling. So we're gonna go ahead and get started uh, making some noise. Stay tuned. We're using a, um, a screen type of um, sandpaper. Um, Diablo is the brand. It makes saw blades, make a lot of different stuff. But it got into the sandpaper market. And this is actually a screen. Comes with a adapter pad, put it over the top. And I'll tell you what, it doesn't move. The thing about the screen though, you can see if that was sandpaper, I would have loaded that up probably a third of the time. But the fact that the screen kind of uh, doesn't allow the uh, dirt and dust to get stuck in it, you get a lot more um, life out of the piece of paper, sandpaper. Okay, I'm gonna continue. Just how they are. For the most part, it's not easy to stand up on that platform when it is to standing on ladder rungs. Backs of my legs hurt, and if you're not wearing rigid boots and you're wearing something soft, that ladder rung lays right up in here. And man, after a day on the ladders, I'll tell you what, I can hardly walk the next day. Okay, I'm gonna go back up, finish up this wall here, and then we'll dust it off. We'll go back, dust the other half off. There's gonna be a cabinet from here over. So I'm not too concerned about this because most of it's going to get covered. I probably will paint it just because if I don't run all my flow wall solid in here, which I wasn't planning on doing, the stuff in between will be, um, could stay painted. But then I got another little idea of some leftover material I have up in the shed that I might just incorporate in between the pieces of the flow wall just to protect the wall a little better and to give it some, give it a little bling. This is kind of the boring part of the video, but maybe you get something out of it. I love these Milwaukee handheld, no cords, no electrical cords. I mean, if you can afford it, they're real easy to hang on to. You get a nice grip on it, even with a, I've got a little heavier battery in here, and you normally would have to have, and it still works out pretty darn good. say about living in the woods. We have a lot of spiders, <laughs> a lot of cobwebs. Tape. Seems to be one of the better ones that I've 
use. We're gonna start in this corner. We're gonna run that bead of silicone down that final edge there at the wall. I do have air conditioning, a, a small amount coming into here from the house unit. So if I get some on the wall, it's not a big deal. I need a tape line at the bottom here, a couple inches from where I'm going to be with my metal. Just as a break point, so I know how far to come. It's not straight or anything, it doesn't matter. It's just a spot. We're going to paint down the efficient and easier the scaffolding. Um, we've gone ahead and got our silicone up there and it should be dry so we're going to go ahead and get started with the painting but before I start with that I just wanted to show you a little sketch of what that wall is going to look like. We're going to be running that metal up to just above where the tape is on that wall right now. We're calling this the sign wall. Then there'll be a little ledge at the bottom where the wood is now coming out with a trim board which will get painted the same color as the wall and then there'll be metal from there down to the floor to keep it waterproof. The sign will get hung here. That wall is going to be the gray that we're getting ready to put on it right now. Underneath the garage door track here will be these barn doors, which will have a open or a cabinet up above the rail as well, because I don't want to lose all that space up there. And there's plenty of room up there to add another cabinet or shelf. So we'll see how that plays out. But we're going to go ahead and get started. We just wanted to show a quick sketch of what, where we're going with this so you can get an idea what this bare wall is going to look like in the next um, few days. Stay tuned. So here we go. It gets rid of it. 